David, um, by any definition, you've had a very successful career. Um, what were some of the things that you think you did early on? What habits did you set? What priorities did you set in your early college years or, or your early years of your career that you think have been you know, contributing to that success? I didn't get that drunk, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another video. Investors who hold their calm while others panic, according to renowned value investor David Tepper, perform well because growth is natural and optimism is rewarded over time. In today's video, we will be taking a look at David Tepper's investing strategies to help you in your investing journey. Tepper is known for profiting from market corrections, such as the 1997 fall in emerging markets, the 2000-2002 tech bubble implosion, and the 2008 global financial crisis. The company went bankrupt in three months, lost all my money. <laughs> um, that's probably why I'm good at bankruptcies at some point. So. So, but I always had an interest in it, and I had different schemes when I was in college. I had this great, great trading scheme that, schemes, idea that kind of worked for a while and then didn't work. Um, so I always liked markets, and I was fascinated with them. And, um, so it was just natural to go into, you know, that sort of stuff just fascinated me. So I kind of liked it. So it wasn't, it wasn't by luck. Here's a quick backstory on his investment journey. He began his career at Goldman Sachs as a credit analyst in 1985, and within six months, he was promoted to head trader. During his eight years at Goldman, he concentrated on bankruptcies and unusual market conditions. Tepper is well-renowned for his involvement at Goldman Sachs during the 1987 market meltdown. In 1993, he created his own fund, Appaloosa, with the $57 million working capital, $7 million of which was his own money. Since then, he has made significant progress over several decades. Appaloosa produced a 57% return in the first six months. The fund's asset worth rose from $300 million in 1994 to $20 billion by 2014. Tepper's net worth is estimated to be $15.2 billion as of 2021. I refused his order because the, the company was on the restricted list. The restricted list, no buy list, because they had inf information inside the firm the day before, and he took it off the next day. So I told him, I'm not buying it. I'm not going to buy it. So it was a big thing. We went to legal, and then legal said to me, you know, it's okay. You know, it's not a problem. You can buy things from them. And I, I refused to buy anything else for this guy. Now, since he was the head of M&A, it really didn't help me in the next time I was up for partner. <laughs> but um, I don't know if you know this, it didn't really hurt me in my career. <laughs> okay, so I think that there's kind of a thing to always running your life right and always doing the right thing and always run it ethical. And don't be afraid if somebody says to do something that you really think is not right, don't do it. So I don't think they may teach you that, but when you're on the line, I'm just going to say it again, don't do it. So at some point in your life, you're going to have kids, and especially if you have kids, you look at your kids, you say, well, I'd rather see my kids or I'd rather not see my kids. You know, if it comes down to those sort of things, you think things aren't really right. Don't do things that aren't right. Do, like, stay true to yourself always, so. Now on to Tepper's investing strategies. Strategy number one, market corrections provide opportunities. Enormous market corrections, according to Tepper, offer big opportunities for investors who must be able to recognize these chances in order to be successful. Nobody knows why deep market crashes happen, but he believes that without them, many of the finest long-term investors would never have earned their phenomenal profits. Tepper offers some helpful hints and insights that might aid investors in navigating the unpredictable financial atmosphere during market downturns. Now on to strategy number two, spot the best opportunities. Tepper advises investors to keep a positive attitude and be on the lookout for the greatest opportunities. To comprehend the greatest possibilities available, the investing legend encourages investors to stay up to speed on all market information and perform extensive study before investing in a firm. He stated in an interview, in order to become wealthy, you must recognize opportunities and maximize the potential of your investing strategy. Um, I think some of the things I talked about, you're going to make mistakes and you just keep you know, driving through them. If you have a good idea, you, you know what you're doing, I and mean, you have a basic knowledge of what you're doing. I just think, um, you know, it's, um, it's something to persevere, I guess, would be probably the biggest thing when you're an entrepreneur of something or starting a new business. Because, you, you know, we actually started out fairly fast, but I don't think everybody starts that way. So, depending on what your business is, 
um, but we had different growing. Strategy number three, stay patient. Patience, according to Tepper, is a critical component of investing success, as spotting good investment opportunities might take longer than normal. According to him, no market strategy works every time since the investing atmosphere is never the same. He believes there are periods when investors should be proactive and other times when they should just sit and wait. He says waiting is the key. Doing nothing is sometimes the most difficult thing to do. You know, there's a lot of, a lot of disappointments. There's a lot of things that didn't go right. But it's, those aren't the things that make you. It's how you bounce back and where you move on from there and how you, what you learn from those things. And, you know, it's kind of the river flows, you know, the river flows. That should be some, that should be out of some, somebody's culture, the river flows. But, you know, you, you have to make choices on where your life goes. But you never stop flowing. You never stop riding the river. Or you never stop dancing. You know, so I just think you kind of keep pushing forward. Because you're going to have disappointments. You're going to have problems in your life. You're going to have different things that go wrong. But that's not what's going to define you. What's going to define you is how you recover from those things and how you move on. Strategy number four is keep emotions in check. When panic comes in, according to Tepper, the market tends to depreciate stock prices. It's critical for investors to keep their emotions apart from their investments, as the latter might make it difficult for them to make sensible judgments. Now on to strategy number five, diversify your portfolio. Investors should diversify their holdings according to Tepper, since this might assist them in avoiding losses. He believes that investing just in stocks is insufficient and that it is preferable for investors to diversify their portfolios with the bonds and other investments. Tepper is well known for buying troubled debt and turning it into equity. Strategy number six is be enthusiastic. According to Tepper, it is critical for young investors to have the drive and passion to achieve greater success in investing. Tepper, for example, claims that despite being pleased with his position and work description, he never stopped learning and pursued greater degrees and qualifications. He says ambition is more than just a desire for more. Visualize yourself at the next level and then take good action that moves you closer to your goal. But I think you always have an opportunity to learn from different situations, even the ones that are disappointing. So I would say just always try to learn and move on and try to, try to grow from that. So. Strategy number seven. Do not panic. Tepper believes that investors should stick with their portfolios and not panic if they have done their homework and done their homework well, even if they lose money at first. He believes that in order for investors to have an advantage over others, they must be courageous as outperformance in investing is impossible without an edge. He says, we had some of our finest situations while we were losing money at first. Even if an investor is too early or too late, he or she might still gain. He thinks the majority of people are unable to overcome their anxieties. As a result, they sell at the worst conceivable time. This is known as the behavior gap. And that's it for today's video. David Tepper is a very intelligent investor, and by following his strategies, you'll surely be able to make some good money. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more videos.